Hello everybody, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War. This is episode 114. We're, uh, I think we're, we're close. Like, we're, we're basically at the end. We have Ishtar on her way, along with, um, her allies, Mabel, Ming, and Bleg. Potential in-game hype! Yeah, right? We have the Dread Lords have taken to the field. Dread Lords, Dead Lords have taken to the field. Um, Julius is on the capital, and then we have Manfroy, who I actually really want to take down. Um, and there's Julia. So let's see how this shit goes. To start things off, right? I think we kind of want to create a catch. Here at the ready um, for peoples. So we're gonna. Hmm. This is gonna be a little awkward, unfortunately. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Uh, the awkward part is is just that there's so many freaking mages. Basically, is it happening? I don't know, right? Like, let's let's not get too hype yet. Um, it it might not be end of the game just yet. Um, so there's a bunch of L wins here. A couple fortifies, and then these earth swords. These earth swords are a big deal, but we have several, um, you know, several archers. So, um, unfortunately, we're going to want. I say, unfortunately, we're going to want high MR people towards the front. We're also going to want Shannon towards the front. Um, Sed is an easy um, front runner as well. Altena, we're going to send up because they can dive bomb into this line. And we basically wanted to make sure that we have our, our archers prepped and at the ready um, to be able to jump in against Mabel, Ming, and Bleg as easily as possible. Yohalvier being one of those. And actually Hannibal being one as well. Um, I think we're going to leave that as that for now. Um, just to kind of circle... Oh, oh, what's going on? <sighs> you motherfuckers. Son of a bitch. Okay. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that we need to send Altena back uh, to talk to... Uh, what's, his, what's his face? Um, what's his name? Uh, like, Alarian? No. Oh, yeah, Wyverns. <laughs> yeah, a Orion, there we go. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that we have to send Altena to talk to him, but I don't know that she can um, face down all of these dragons, brave lances. Actually, um, they will do very little damage to her. Um, 
if they even hit her. She has how much defense? Yeah, she, they actually can't really hurt her. All those Pegasus Knights are low-key stronger than most... Those Pegasus Knights are low-key stronger than most bosses. I, I don't think there's anything low-key about it. They're fucking... They're crazy. Like, I, I looked at... When I was looking at them last time, I was like, ha, whole shit. Um, they're basically... It's like fighting against one of our own people, but stronger. Because uh, they've got really high speed, really high luck. So they're going to be almost impossible to fucking hit. Um... So yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely, I, I feel you. Um, okay, so I think uh, goal is obviously going to be send Altena back. Um, but I don't know if I need to send more than just Altena back. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll send Altena back to try to talk to Orion. Um, we're just going to have to experiment. So before we do anything, I'm going to do a safety save here. Um, we're going to do... This one right here. Um, so we have we have a safety save at 52. So we can go back a couple turns if we need to. Um, we will send... We'll send someone back to deal with... We'll send Altena back and then we'll send someone else back. as kind of like maybe a dodge tank. No, I could just send uh, Shannon back. Shannon, Shannon could just go back there um, and dodge tank and use Balmung to kill them. Uh, that might not be a great fit, though. Um, I mean, actually, it might be just fine. Uh, let's... Who has... Said has... Return. And then Carepri has the other thing. So, let's... And why did I just do Larce? What, what the fuck am I doing? I was literally just talking about doing uh, Shannon. My mind boggles at the ability to do what it is that I just said. Okay, we're going to send him back to Chalfi, and we're going to send Altena back to Chalfi. Um, and then we will proceed, because I, 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 I don't know if that's enough. Um, but I'm willing to gamble that we can talk to Orion. And I think if we can talk to Orion and him, like, leave the field of battle, then I think we can just kill, uh, the Draco Knights without much of an issue with Altena. Uh, we'll just need someone to actually sit guard right the castle so that they don't take it and we don't auto-lose. They're not gonna make it there in a single turn, are they? No, they will not make it there in a single turn. Okay, cool. Um, so that should be fine. So to kind of adjust things from there... You know what I want to do is I kind of want to put, um, I want to put live bait here. This lady has pursuit and adept and critical. Ay ay ay. Um, how and the earth sword is fast. Uh, but it is potentially something that we can deal with on fee. Okay, so we're going to put fee. Put fee right here. Um, and the goal is going to be to draw in Mabel and then snipe her down. Right, uh, tank the earth sword, sniper down with some uh, bows, you know, and go from there. Right here for now, and right here for now. Also, a little suspicious of where.
things are going or where things are happening up there so okay let's see let's see how how that works fingers crossed I feel, every time I start playing this game, I'm just like, it's puzzling time. It's all this game feels like to me is one giant puzzle, like uh, one math problem to solve. If I get the right numbers in the right positions to interact with the other right numbers, then the game is won. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, is is Mabel gonna press forward? That is the question. They're like taking their sweet time to move each of these forward. Ay ay ay. The train. I don't know what the fuck we do about Ishtar, honestly. Okay, Mabel's in. Taste my blade. I'd rather not. Hey, nice Dodgerino. Actually, even if it hits, it's only, yeah, it's only 10, so that's not too bad. Pretty okay. All right, all right. Oh, Lord, she coming. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. How f Okay, they can move super far. We would have to pull the whole line back to beyond here. Um, okay. Okay. That's concerning. That's not impossible, right? But it is concerning. Um, so, for example, what we could try to do is we could try to move Lester forward, attack, kill her bow. Um, we have an 88% chance to hit and... Oh, hold up. Don't they have... They have crit. And they have nihil. They are immune to crippling hits. Um... That's kind of crappy. Um, okay. Uh, even if that is the case, I still think this might be the best course of action. I mean, it's to try to plink them down from range like this. Yeah. You know? Especially if we can maybe get a crit, Lester. Okay. Get a single attack. Oof. That's not great. Yeah. Okay. Um. Complication. Uh, I mean, fuck it, right? We don't have great options for dealing with these uh, ladies. Ay, ay, ay. Really? I mean, that's okay. We're, we're fine with that.
Okay, that should be... That should be death. As long as we hit. There we go. Definitely don't want to give them a chance to surround a unit. Yeah, absolutely not, right? Or maybe I do. <laughs> Why would I want that? Um, okay, so... Uh, I do think... Just to see the triangle attack? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay, I think our goal is going to be to pull back slightly. Um, but with the intention, right, of like, like, bringing in... Yeah, we want to draw them in. Um, so we also want to dance for Faval um, and bring him the fuck on over. Really? That actually does not work the way that we wanted. That's somewhat surprising. Oh, uh, she only has six movements, I, so I guess that's fair. Mm. I thought she had more than that. I thought she had like seven. Hey, chai, 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 chai. Okay. So that would mean. I mean, she does have 17 resistance, though, so I'm not super worried about that. Even. Fuck it. Chuck it in the bucket bucket. We gotta we gotta try something. So we're gonna try to do that and then pull the ball back. Um We could just a void of 74. Hit of 116. It's kind of crazy how high their hit rate is. Um, okay, so I think our plan is to just cross our fingers, basically. In this particular instance, We are going to just herp that things will be fine. I um, mean, if I need to, I can try to like um, return her elsewhere, right? That guy's not going to be able to get involved. Only Bleg right now will be able to hit someone. So, um, that should be fine. We shouldn't, Bleg shouldn't be able to kill anyone on his own. Um, okay. So I try to like Ray Lance Gungnir has a range of one. So what if I just sit her...
like right there. Is she gonna actually, are they even gonna be able to, to get to guard, equip, Balmung, wait. Can't make it, 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 can't make it. The question is, is though, it does that, does that put us in, will they attack her? Does that put her in position to... Looks like the answer is no. It looks like they will not attack her. But it still might put... Yeah, they just sealed her in. So, okay, that that's not super helpful. <laughs> um, You know what? If they won't attack her, we might be able to kind of cheese this. Um... Like, if they're unwilling to actually do anything uh, about her, then we might just be able to... Wow, we can we can go so far back. Um, we might be just be able to go right up next to him. Yeah, nice. Okay, so that might give us a better opportunity to um talk to him because i doubt they're gonna surround her meaning they're probably just gonna move past her yep um which hopefully will leave an opening to talk to him or at least to see if we can talk to him because maybe we can't talk to him and if that's the case then we're fucked, right? So, I mean, we're not fucked, but it's, it's you know, killing time, basically. So, um, ooh, we need to check and see if we can talk to anyone else. I forgot about that. We got conversations that we need to have between peeps. Wow, okay. Did not go where I was expecting. Um, that's kind of okay, I suppose. It's not great, but... Kind of not the worst thing ever. Like, I do actually think V, v can 1v1 one of these ladies. Uh, I just don't think she can necessarily take on both, which is starting to look like what they're gonna try to do. ruh row, Raggy. Sure, fuck it. Alright, <laughs> this is, uh, how hard does she hit? She hits way too hard. She hits way too hard. 60 damage. Um, that even that breaks through even Selif. Hot oh, damn. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. F first things first. First things first is is we're gonna come down here and we're gonna see. Um, can Altena talk to Orion? Yes, she can. Okay. Um, that might not mean anything. Larse talks to Yohavier. Oh Fee talks to Oite. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. That's enough, Orion. Why? Why in the world do you still refuse to see reason? Altena? How could you be so craven? How dare you place your own vanity and pride over what truly matters? What do you want from me, then? What, what the fuck do you mean? Oh, this is such a, this is such a, like, oh, nobility kind of scenario. What do you mean, my, my dude? <laughs> like... We would have left you as the ruler of your your kingdom and just made peace with you. Fight with us, not against us. Take a good hard look at Prince Selif. Ask yourself this, why is he still fighting? For whom is he out here day after day, setting his own suffering to the side? You said a long time ago that you were sure you'd get to recruit Orion? <gasps> is that gonna happen? <gasps> 
I mean, he looks so... He's such a... He's he, like, this is Alucard all over again. So Sela fights for justice and I somehow do not? Is that what you're trying to say? Very well, Orion. If you won't see reason, so be it. Come on, kill me. in this. Uh-oh. That'd be another character to 30 and Rena, though. I... Oh. That might be tough. <laughs> my... My life is in your hands, Orion. I die without... With no regrets. Whoa! <laughs> she just... She literally just went like, Fine! You want to do it this way? Fucking do it. Kill me. Bitch if you don't. <laughs> And he, and he bitched. He bitched out. I get it. I was wrong. My mercenary days are at an end, and my final task is with Sela. Wait, no. With you. I now fight for you, Altena. <gasps> oh, he goes green. He goes... Okay. Um... I wonder if he's gonna follow Altena around like Requasis's knights did that one time. Um, also, I guess Shannon doesn't need to be here anymore. So, uh, rip Shannon ever getting any fucking experience. Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Well, you think he does follow her, which is super dope to give her a murder posse. <laughs> Oh, uh, that is funny. I don't want to get him killed, though. I mean, he's very strong, but the murder posse is not super strong. He, yeah, he even comes with his own holy weapon. Hell yeah. Down with the gang squad. Um, okay, so. Okay, so. Here is the earth. Dang, that is a sweet earth, you might say. Around... Um, I want to... It might be easier for me to go for Meng than for Leg. Because I think I can get to Meng with Faval, and Faval is really like... Faval is the damage when it comes to bows. So... Oh, hold up. Was that a 28 to hit? I take it back. I don't even I don't even want to see the rest of this. I I take it back for my hubris. Why? Oh. It was because of Celeph's stars, wasn't it? Hmm. That's no bueno. They're out of range of Celeph now, so the they are way fucking harder to hit. And we are not nearly as dodgy. Ay ay ay, that is not great. Okay. How do we want to how do we want to work this out? Cause I mean we can put Selif close by. Right? Like we can walk in, hit, walk out, that type of situation. Um I was kind of anticipating using Selef to plug the gap against Ishtar, though. So I'm not sure about that particular situation. Let's try this. Let's try popping this guy, the Sage, right? Uh, and then moving up with Selef to uh, have a supporting position. Peter Fee. Let's see how this goes. Very nice, okay. Um, we will move up here. We will wait. And then we can bring in Faval and do a Ufel. That's still a very low hit chance. Why is this so much lower comparatively? What was wrong with Mabel that made her so much 
more of a target. Or was she not? Was I just not paying attention? Because, like, when she was... Where was she? When she was here, we shot at her with, like, no real issues with both Lester and Faval. Was someone else nearby? Hmm. Dermot's way down here. Like, Dermot was over here, I think, when when we did that. So he might... He should be out of range. Um, I guess let's just bring him in range. Because these are, these are the threats right now, so... Um... Is there any worth to the idea of doing like a bolt sword on her? It seems unlikely. It seems seems most likely to just get him smacked. So, okay, let's move Dermot over and see if we can boost that chance. Up to a 58. Not great. Not great at all. There's someone else who has charm, right? But you can only stack charm once, I think. Is it Lene? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Am I losing my mind? Uh, that's Paragon. All the ghosts are bears. It's Nana. Jobs. All the ghosts are bears. Some are hybrid bears. Hybrid bears. Like there's a bird. Interesting. Bird bears. Um, I mean, okay, like we don't really have great options here, I guess. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, we can maybe try Lester. It's damage. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh. Now watch her get two hits. Because <laughs> if she hits. Yeah, and she crit, so she just full healed. That was worthless. Worthless! Don't, don't, don't do this to me, game. That's nice. It's a crit regardless, isn't it? Okay, yeah, it is. Um, you think this was the part of the game where where never forget he said for Seti became a thing? <laughs> uh, I was actually thinking of using uh, said up here to plug the gap, um, actually. But yeah, you're probably not wrong. Oif, bruv. He does have an excruciatingly high hit rate. Um, who else had a very high hit rate? It was Larce. Okay, um... Yeah, it's really Ares, um, Sed, and Larce have... High enough hit rates where I feel like they can um, hit Ming and Bleg without real issue. I really wonder what was up with Mabel, right? Like, I, I kind of feel like I missed something with Mabel because I hit her without any issues. Right? Um, so, one of the things I can do is I can move um, said up and then move in dance for him and for 
uh, Selif, um, and then go from there. Um, which I think might be a route that we want to experience, experiment with. So fingers crossed. Um, and Lene should be fine here as long as we plug the gap, right? So, uh, bring in the Forsetti! <laughs> even, even said, boosted by Selif and by Dermot, even said only has a 78% chance to hit. Is it partially? It's partially because of the fucking road here, I think. Um, well, that's that's our chance to get hit. I guess not our chance to hit. Um, but hot damn. Um, okay, well, I mean, that's basically the best chance we have. Um, if this doesn't... Uh, well, I say that. Um, we're kind of putting ourselves in a bad situation because she's going to crit. Um, it is possible that said kills her before she crits with a double hit. But it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Yeah, she's going to crit here. Is she going to hit twice? Okay, she does not hit twice. Okay. No dice. Um, we need to kill someone real quick. <laughs> Basically, is is what needs to happen. We need to we need to move in and kill one of these people. Um, and I'm thinking, do I want Leaf in here to try this, or do I want? I think I want Ares in here to try this. Um, yes. Very nice. Okay, so the goal there was to do a reset. Um, we can wait here. Go here, dance, and then send in said uh, second time. Basically, we're trying to avoid the crit, right? Because um, even if we do get hit by the attack, as long as it's not a crit, then I think we'll be okay. The crit just refilled her HP too much, right? So... Who knew fucking Nihil was going to be, like, the worst ability um, in the game? Like, the the inability for us to just walk over to these Pegasus Knights and be like, Oh, you're a flyer? Here's an arrow. Um, <laughs> has been really, really bad, unfortunately. Um, okay. So... Said, the man, the myth, the legend, indubitably. Indubitably. Um, and I'm relatively happy with that. Let's see if we can put the the hurt train on Bleg as well. Well, that's definitely not gonna kick it off. I mean Honestly, all things considered, that's not too bad. If we get a double, we do 18. Let's see if we get hit or not, basically.
Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. You hit. Fuck. Well, that was not worth it. And this is why we're save scumming. Wait, was that worth it? I think we just left 35... Okay, we now we have done more damage to them now. Wow, they are getting a lot of earth swords off. Ay yeah 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 yeah, that's not worth it. Oh well then, uh, never mind. So, how the fuck do we want to deal with this? Um, in theory, I was thinking we plug the gap. Just because there's so many fucking bodies, they're not going to be able to... Even if they... Like, they're not going to be able to kill... Unless they crit. I mean, Celef doesn't have, like, the highest uh, defense in the world. So, if they crit, could could be bad. He does have incredibly high avoid, though. Uh, not as high as Shannon. Or said. He might be the highest aside from Shannon and said, said though. Patty has 89. Patty has 89 avoid. My goodness. Uh, Patty can't make it over there. Okay, um, seems pretty obvious. We're gonna walk in, um, and we're gonna tear thing, uh, uh, dude. Fingers crossed. And we'll heal him up, and we'll hold the line there, um, with the assumption that they can't fucking kill him. Because they're not going to have enough attacks. Even if... And, and the, the way that the AI works is, is they, they move all of their people before they move Ishtar. So, um... I, I... It should be a situation where, like, they're not able to kill him before Ishtar gets in to be able to do anything. Uh, oh, nope. That's not the person I thought I was moving. I wanted to move Lana. Um, oh, we can silence Ishtar if, well, can we? Magic 26, I bet we can't. I bet she's 30. Yeah, she has 30 magic. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think we can silence Ishtar. Well, sometimes it do be that way. Um, Nana has what we are looking for. We're gonna heal him up to max before we pull everyone else out and around. Uh, we're gonna want ranged people in a position to try to assist or get involved in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Um... I really hate leaving Bleg the opportunity to attack whoever she wants to attack. Like, I really fucking hate that. Um, like, I do not want to do it. But I don't really know what to do in response. Go heal Oife. I think what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to create a little bit of a line where most of our um, southern flank is defended in, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. We can't leave 
Um, we can't leave Freeg undefended, though. Um, so that's... I guess we'll put Larce there. Right? Seems fine. Okay, so... Yeah. Bleg can kind of run the fuck around and do whatever the fuck she wants, um, which is absolutely not cool. We're not happy with that, but I don't really know what else to do at this current point in time. So, um, yep. <laughs> Looks like the gank squad just kind of flies around her. Fantastic. Um, you know what? I wonder if we could just snake her up the right side and go after Manfroy. That could be uh, interesting. They, they just decide not to attack him. <laughs> okay, and she's going for Larce. That should actually be fine. Yeah, she... Why would... What the fuck, AI? You go for the one person that you have a 0% chance of hitting? And... Are you shitting me right now? Nah. Nah. That ain't cool. That sure as shit ain't cool. Uh, Larce is gonna come out for her. Like, Larce is one of those people that actually does have a hit ratio. Larce, can, Larce has, I think, the highest hit ratio. Um, Larce, she, she gunning. Yeah, she has a 90% chance to hit. Let's fucking do it. Larce doing it on the bleg. That's all we needed. We just needed we just needed one of the murder twins from the very beginning. Who needs who needs, you know, Fursetti when you just have Larce with a brave sword? It's fine. She's balanced. My god. Okay, um Let's recircle. Let's figure figure out what what we're doing. Um we can head northward try to engage them or we can head towards oh my god look at all these sleeps well I don't think we want to do that I do think we're going to head that direction with Altena. Now, how the fuck do we handle this situation? Who do 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 we think we can talk to someone with with or talk to Ishtar with someone? Do we think that's an option? He needs to talk to Oife. Where the fuck is Oife? Oife is way over here. So Bring set in and just snipe someone, kill him. IDK. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to Oife. Idea? How about I go scout out the enemy? Sorry, Fee, but I must object. Their lines are crawling with archers waiting to shoot down any Pegasi. Yeah, just give her Nihil and it'll be fine. So, uh, Oife? Yeah. You know, I actually think it's really great. I mean, how all your life you've lived just for Lord Seleph, always putting yourself second. 
I confess that, in a way, those of us who survived the old war never truly wished to survive. But we had our own mission to fulfill, painful as it was to leave our friends to their doom, your parents among them. You know, thanks to this war, I think I'm starting to get my mom and dad a bit, what they had to deal with. I never really knew them much, and I'm really glad I had you to tell me more about them one day. I mean, go talk to Lewin's ass right now! You can have a conversation, he's around, he's just a jackass. Still, I've always been indebted to Lady Erin for all the help she gave me back then. Privilege to help her daughter. Oh, I kind of wish I knew how to act a bit more, um, adulty. There's a lot I could learn from you. Little by little, life itself will teach you what adulthood is. My fucking mood. Holy shit. Yeah, real talk. Little by little, life will teach you what adulthood is. Ay ay ay. Alright, that, that relationship's a little strange, but plus three skill to fee is nice. Right? That is a good line. Absolutely. I do I do like Oife um Oife hits me in a way that the the general like old fogies, the general paladins at the start of the game don't normally get to me, and that's because I saw Oife as a child, right? Like I I got to witness him being the young, you know, individual that has to be secreted away to be saved, and now he is that kind of like um that wiser figure. I also think I just appreciate older, wiser figures now more than I did when I was younger. Because I <laughs> see myself in them. <laughs> I'm getting old, y'all. It's happening. Ay ay ay. Okay. So, um... Do I think we can talk to Ishtar? The only people I would think that it could work with is either Tenny or Old Fogey. Oife is 33. Yeah, look, I'm 34. Four, I'm about to be 35, and I'm telling you what, it feel I feel like an old Fogey. I feel ancient, right? So. <laughs> Yeah, and exactly. J in a JRPG, 33 is ancient. Get your sass out of here. Sassy Miss Sassersons over here. Um, okay. It's retro. <laughs> um, I think that is going to be a good place to go ahead and call this video. Uh, if you are watching on Twitch, stick around. We are going to keep playing. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. And we will see you next time for more Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War. Bye-bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash thedistanthorizon.